Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about a brand new drugstore primer. I don't know if it's still new because I got it a few weeks ago and I didn't immediately do a review because I obviously wanted to try it out before I start. I talked about it. Um, but that is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD Smoothing Face Primer. Yes. Uh, what this claims to do is that it helps smooth and fill in fine lines and pores, paraben and fragrance free, and enrich with vitamin E. Um, this is, I believe, around $5. I got it on sale for like three. Um, I'm sure you can find this um, on drug drugstore.com. Is that what it's called? Um, I'll double check and put it in the description. You can find all sorts of drugstore makeup there. So, as it says, it's a primer. It's supposed to fill in pores, all that good stuff, make your skin look great. Um, and it doesn't have a fragrance whatsoever. Maybe it's just like the tiniest bit of like your standard like silicone primer smell, if you know what I mean. Um, and that's another thing. This is a whoop half backwards. This is a silicone based primer. <clears throat> oh god, my cat scared me. <laughs> but this is a silicone based primer. Um, as you'll see in the application, um, it is clear. Um, just to compare it to another drugstore silicone based primer, um, this is the Baby Skin, which I, again, I'll check prices and put them somewhere on the screen, but um, this basically claims to do the exact same thing this claims to do, um, but there's a little bit more in here. This is only half a fluid ounce and this one is a little bit more than half, it's 0.67 fluid ounces. This one's 15 milliliters, this one's 20 milliliters whatever but I like this one a lot more because this one can because I have oily skin and this one can just like make me feel even oilier because it doesn't fully like absorb into your skin whereas this does um, but one thing to know about this when you first apply it it does have the tendency to kind of ball up which is really strange but once you work it in it really looks nice I think um, in fact um, I'm wearing it with the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, foundation and normally it oxidizes really bad but today with that um, when I use this primer I find it doesn't oxidize as much. Maybe that's just like in my head or just a coincidence but I just wanted to add that. Um, for the money if you're looking for something on a budget I definitely recommend getting it. It's not the greatest primer in the world but it hasn't broken me out. It hasn't um, made me even oilier it does make my skin or it does make my makeup go on easier it basically hits all the notes that I want in a primer um, and yeah it definitely works really great it's not better than say benefits professional or anything like that but it is really really good and I really do enjoy it um, so yeah I'll put a, a link to drugstore.com if I can find it there down below or anywhere where I um, can find this so you guys can get it. Um, it's not bad for the money. Again, is it the greatest primer in the world? No, but for a drugstore option, for a cheaper option, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's beautiful. It's great. Um, of course, if you don't like silicone primers, then you're not going to like this, but overall, I really, really like it and it's great. So. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!